What is ethical obligation? Ethical principles act as a guide for professionals when working with the general public. While they are not law, they are mutually, mutually agreed upon standards that provide instruction on how to act professionally and respectfully toward individuals seeking help for life issues. Acting as mental health mentors, we are not bound by any specific code of ethics. It is this lack of oversight that makes it all the more important that we act in an ethical manner. This will ensure a welcoming and safe environment for those whom we are mentoring. According to the American Psychological Association, the number one ethical principle in which to abide is beneficence and non-malfeasance. The APA Code of Ethics also goes into great detail about a number of other important ethical behaviors to embrace. Today I will touch on boundaries of competence, as it is an important standard of practice when working in the field of mental health. First, I will address what very well may be the most important aspect of acting in an ethical manner, beneficence and non-malfeasance. These two ideas comprise and guide all other aspects of ethical obligation. In layman's terms, these mean to do good and to do no harm. Acting as a mentor, it is important to seek to help individuals to reach their goals without expectation of personal reward. We must do our best to benefit those whom we mentor. This is the basic idea of beneficence. Non-malfeasance, or to do no harm, embodies the idea that we must safeguard those we mentor against harm to their welfare or dignity. In all encounters, we must understand our influence and be sure not to utilize this in a way that will be detrimental to those we serve. This leads into my next point on boundaries of competence. Many times, in order to prevent harm for those we mentor, we must understand and accept when the problem to be solved is outside of our scope of practice. As we are not acting in the capacity of mental health counselors, we must acknowledge when our mentees need more professional help. We must be willing and competent to refer them to a professional counselor. This is not to say that we need to withdraw as their mentor, only that we will act in conjunction with a licensed professional to help our mentees achieve their goals and an overall sense of improved mental health. With these ideas in mind, I believe that as an organization, Peace360 has a huge potential to make an impact on the lives of those we serve. I highly suggest further research on the American Psychological Association Code of Ethics, which can be found at apa.org slash ethics slash code. Here you will find general principles of ethics, in-depth explanation of these codes, and steps to resolve ethical dilemmas. Thank you for investing your time in learning about ethical obligation, as it is of the utmost importance in providing individuals with mentoring that is professional and respectful.